Nice. So we should be stream boys. Big chillin'. Um, need to go grab something. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. Do, do. See? Look, I did something. The camera moved. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Um, hmm. I have a fluter in my party. Um, I guess I always had, right? But, okay. Hiccups. Um, I hope <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a good stream, as you guys can tell. <laughs> uh, we're just big, we're just big chilling here, uh, having a good old time. And what I think I want to do is just start by um organizing my boxes so that it's easier to see what teams we're going to be using next month um excuse me my nose is being uh, a little stuffy a little bit of a super super tough stuff <laughs> yeah yeah take that my game <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, have I just have like too much fun by myself, you know what I mean? How do you, what do you need other people for when you can entertain yourself all the time? Like, yeah. Alright, so let's see. We will definitely benefit from having this closer to our realm of consideration. I also saw King Gambit back there, which is one of the boys. Can't forget that. Okay, hold on. We've got the good sir here, which means, what was that other one? I mean, I've caught multiple King Gambits at this point. Um. Okay, so this is my AV King Gambit, Citizen Snips, we say. You know, Citizen Snips is that boy. A little bit of the worm. A little bit of the worm for you, my game. Let's put him right here. Alright, so we got Torn, Raging Bolt, Flutermingus. Uh, the one that is apparently called Him's Drum. Because that's what he does. Him's drum. Am I like, am I freaking right or am I right? Like, him's drum. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's, it's almost a rhetorical question. You know what I mean? Like, the question, it literally answers itself. Him's drum. I guess, I guess the thing is to say it's redundant, right? Because it's not a question. It's an answer to a question. Him's drum. It's a statement, you might say. Him's drum. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. What, what are we doing here? What are we even doing? Uh, <laughs> Okay, so what am I thinking? I just need to remember what my last Yadamingus is. So 
This one. It's this one. Okay, so we got one team here. We call them the Yadaminguses. And then... Okay, we've got another team here. We also call them the Yadaminguses. Big spoiler. Uh, you would have never guessed. Like, you really, you like... You think they would have guessed. They just wouldn't. You know, it's crazy. It's a crazy world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really have so much fun. I don't know what to I don't know what to tell you guys. Alright, so let's think. It was Metagross, not that Metagross, this one, and then I was technically considering the one known as Flutus, <laughs> not Flutus, no, we're not considering Flutus. Remember Flutus though? Remember how much fun we had? Hold on, I need to look at something. Just give me a sec. Um, let's see, so, yeah, I gotta find freaking, freaking, you know, the one with the paints, the paints. This has definitely been like one of our most unhinged starts of a of a live stream for sure. And you know, that's what we're here for. We're here for the content. Like we're here for the not taking it serious and having a good time. Like, you know. Uh because that's that's just life sometimes, you know? We're playing a video game. Did you know that? Did you know this is a video game? Some people didn't know. They might have forgot. My gang. Sometimes you gotta call my gang, my gang. Sometimes you gotta tell them not to forget to say my gang, my gang. And that's the truth. Right? Right? Okay, so. <laughs> uh, let's, uh. I feel like this is not a team that I'm gonna wanna end up using, but. For the sake of the moment, I am going to put it together. So, let's see. So it was these guys, Lando Dringus. I don't know what I was thinking with this team. Um, I feel like Lando Dringus is a placeholder for something else that was supposed to be in that slot and is not me. Alright, so... Hey look, it's Flubis! What up, Flubis? We've missed you. Um, where is my... 
Assault Vest Rilla B. There you go. Alright, so we got really, we got this, we got this, we got this. And then we need Grim Snarl. I actually want to try an offensive Grim Snarl kind of soon. Not gonna lie. I feel like offensive Grim Snarl sounds really fun. Suicune the Horns version. Okay, so Grim Snarl, Pico, Reggie Steel, Ensign, Really Bangles. We could put Suicune the Horns version on this team. Um, I don't really think it fits that well. <laughs> um. Oh wait, isn't this the? This is like kind of the Reggie Steel team that we built together on the stream, or we built like a different team, didn't we? Cause we built like a Reggie Steel Umbreon team. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is my Assault Vest in Sinmore. Okay, that's good to know. A little bit of worm, a little bit of slurm. And it is slurm. Don't forget that. All my homies slurm. All my homies freaking whimmy wham wham wows oh my guy. Freaking Futurama out here. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Hmm. So what, what was I... What was just going through my head? Umbreon? That was what was going through my head. Pokemon? Gotta catch them all? Is that what was going through my head? Don't forget to say my game again? Is that what's... <laughs> hmm. That's always what's going through my head, let's be honest. You just never know with these things. It's it's pretty unpredictable. It's just it's just predictable enough. That's the good thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, Umbreon is not fit for this team. I don't really know what I was thinking with this team. I kind of just, like, threw it together. Which is generally how I tend to throw teams together, and then I, like, refine them, right? But, as I say, you know, you just kind of throw them together, and then you figure it out from there. So, you know, slap her together, figure out what's working, what's not, make it better. Um... I don't, I just like, I don't know. I'm kind of like starting to want to abandon Reggie Steel. Like, he just, he, he tries too hard. He just tries too hard. Um, and this team is also too passive, right? Because like, you basically have to put something offensive in this other slot. Not technically Reggie Draco. I think technically even like this would be better. Um... But, like, something with spread damage, you know? Like, something with spread damage is good in that slot. Uh, technically, no. Because, again, like, just not enough offense. So, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm more than likely not going to use that team. But, again, the idea is just to, like, start putting together the things that I was looking at for whatever reason. So... Um, Squishy Dark.
I'm gonna sneeze. Someone stop me. <laughs> uh, actually, there's no reason for me to do this this way. So, oh, it, it worked. Thank you, guys. You, I, see, it went away. You, you, you did your part. You know, that's what they say. You know, you gotta do your part. Be smart, vote for art. You know, you, like, none of you get that. I know you don't, but if you did, you'd be big chillin'. Uh, okay, so let's see. And then, yeah, so we need... The slug. Okay, and then, yeah. So, these transfer down to here. These transfer down to here. And then... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else. <laughs> I definitely don't really care that much for this team. What I would really like to do though is kind of just like sit here and build a team from scratch though. Like it's, that's, it's honestly one of my favorite things to do in this game, so. I have actually been thinking about bringing Vickabolt back. The only thing is like, what does Vickabolt do? that you can't do with like raging bolt or something right so raging bolt has a lot more bulk and it also has more speed technically it, you just have the additional benefit of you know doing vicable things right so Let's see, what other options are there besides Discharge? If I wanted to run a Assault Vest, that is. Which I'm kind of thinking I do. Okay, Struggle Bug, that's kind of hard. Struggle bug is a little bit more. Hmm. Wow, why does it like every move it gets suck? Maybe it's just the moves that I have that suck. You never think about that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, put myself on the grill. We can put him on the grill again. Put him on the grill. Okay, so we have... Oh, wait, no, it gets flash cannon too, right? So, yeah, that's... Um... Yeah, okay. So we can run flash cannon... Okay. Hmm. I really liked Suicune last time we tried it. It really wasn't perfect, I'll be honest. But, um... It was not bad. It was really not bad. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. Same with Sylveon. Um, Sylveon was a lot of fun last time we used it. I wouldn't mind building, like, a Dusclops team or a Duck team. So, what kind of, like, weird, funny things can I do? Hmm. 
Well, well, let's be honest. Let's be honest, okay? Okay, so we have Dusclops, Sylveon, Vicavolt, um, Gudra, Um, something that has fake out slash redirection. How about Rillaboom? <laughs> Technically, I think Incineroar looks really good on this team. So, I, I think Incineroar. We have been talking about using Assault Vest Vicavolt. And Assault Vest Vicable actually sounds really good next to Incineroar. I just have, you know, like, technically an Assault Vest Incineroar. So we'll just use my Offensive Incineroar. I don't love doing that, but it is what it is. We have Offensive Incineroar. We have, um... Assault Vest... Okay, so <clears throat> Dusclops, Sylveon, Vicable, Slug, Inc <laughs> Incineroar, and then I mean, technically, we can do Ursaluna, we could do the Moon Bear, right? Uh, we have all those luxuries afforded to us, technically, so... Hmm. No, oh, no, wait, because this is... Let's use this one. And then, in that case, I'm going to give Vicavolt back Discharge. Ooh, I really like Struggle Bug, though. Like, I feel like, I feel like Struggle Bug is such a cool tech on Vicavolt. You know, because it's like a guaranteed attack lowering. It doesn't, you know, always win you the game. But to be honest, I'm going to click it a lot more than Energy Ball. So let's try this. Let's try this for now. Let's try Discharge, Struggle Bug, Bug, Buzz, and Thunderbolt. Doesn't sound like an amazing set, but I do want to try it. Alright, so we have this, we have whatever this monstrosity is, um, this is where we start gathering things. Mm. 
I do realize that I basically just built that team out of my box. So like, I like looked at everything that was in one box that I was looking at and I was like, oh yeah, all these things. Um, <laughs> and like, you know, there's a lot more options, you might say, but we're having fun. Um, let's see. Hmm. I do feel like safety goggles. All right, so we have this. I'm actually going to run. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go to a TM mission. Tis all Gouda in the Huda. But, I mean, potentiality, we're kind of just like cooking a little hard on this team. In the sense that like, you could just tone it back a bit and it would probably be just as good. So let's see. Where is Bulldoze? There it is. Wait, I have Bulldoze, my gay. Did they take Bulldoze away from Dustclops or did I just not notice it? What's happening? Did they take it from you, my man? Did they take... Bulldoze? Alright, I need to go on Cerebi really quick. Because, like, I don't understand what's happening. D for Dustclops. I know how to spell. <laughs> okay. So, as far as I can see, yep. Dang, that's hard. That's hard. Why would they do that to me? They ruined it. They don't... Dustclops doesn't get bulldoze anymore. It's almost like... It's almost like they knew I had a good idea. And they were like... They were like, nah. Nah, we don't do that. <laughs> it's all good. Um... I don't want to change the Terra on my on my Sylveon. If we're being honest, I do think that Fire Terra is kind of the best. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um. Okay. So let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I mean, technically, this team still works. We just, like, can't do weakness policy. <laughs> and we do... I don't know, like, Life Orb or something. Hmm... 
So let's see. Yeah, we have Dusclops, Insane, Urs, Monsignor, uh, Vicavolt, and the Slug. Technically, if we want to make this a better Trick Room team, um, we can do Enamorous. So that's something to think about. But for now... We definitely want Nightshade. So yeah, Nightshade, Trick Room, Willis, Pain's Foot. That's good. So that's a team. Uh, this is not really a team. So we got that, we got that, we got that. Um, I mean, I do want to make a Gloom team again, if we're being honest. I do plan on making another Gloom team. Alright, so we have Umbreon. What is Umbreon really good paired with, I think is the question. I like Thunder Wave Umbreon because I think it, it kind of adds to the amount of versatile things that Umbreon can do that you might not expect it to, right? Which means that we can run it with mid-speed things that want to go fast, but we can also run it with Trick Room, right? So... Um, we've got a little bit of a dual mode action, right? But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to, first and foremost... Where... This goes down here, right? And then... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to find my Frigoraph. I probably just like was on, I was probably like literally on it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so Umbreon Frigoraph. Uh, we have Baby Doll Eyes, which is pretty tight uh we have foul play non prankster so technically you can use baby doll eyes on like an ensign right because you're not prankster you just have priority. Um, physical bond that benefits from Snarl Sport. Right, right, exactly. Like, like, you know, technically you can do something like Ursaluna, but I'm, I'm starting to use Ursaluna a little bit much, so. Um. I really like the idea of the, uh, of the... Offensive Grim Snarl, like I was talking about. But again, like it's just not like for this team, not what we're looking at, right? So, but yeah, what up, Carlos? There's nothing wrong with running in Cinema on this team, if we're being honest. I don't hate it. I just don't like that I keep making Trick Room teams, I think is the way I feel at the moment. Hmm.
I mean, so technically we could use fast Pokemon, right? Um, we could say, what about a fast Kwame game? What about fast options? What about our good friend Drago Knight? Dragonite's actually a kind of interesting pick. It's not really like... I think the pick that you instantly gravitate towards. And in fact, it feels like me just like picking things because I can. Um, but I'm going to pull it over for a sec. And I'm going to let the builder think what it thinks about it. Ooh, we gotta remember our friend Walking Wake here. Who is it? Who, who, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, I was like, who is that one guy that I said I was gonna look at and then I didn't? <laughs> All right, so, ooh, you know what I, you know what? Uh, I'm going to make one version of this team, and then I'm going to take a snapshot of it, and then I'm going to make another version. Technically, Ogre Pond Fire could be not terrible. I actually think Ogre, or, or I mean, um, not Ogre Pond Fire, Ogre Pond Rock. So we could do Ogre Pond Rock, probably not Dragonite. Um... Okay, so we have Ogre Pond, Rock, this boy, this, yeah, but no, definitely not Dragonite, um, let's see, what else is there? I mean, it's not that we, like, can't do Dragonite. Technically, if I have a slow Thunderous, that could be interesting. But, like, now I'm kind of just, like, thinking of things just because they're things that I haven't used yet, right? And, like, that's not really a good way to build a team. It's just me, like looking at my boxes and being like huh like what about this what about this like that's not like doesn't mean they're gonna be good like um so what i think is after i build this team 
and then I build the alternate version of the team, I'm just going to start playing some matches, right? Because, like, I wanted to team build a little. I did. I'm getting a little burnt out on it now, so. <laughs> you know. I could have swore I had another Thunderous, but... It's all good. We'll just put in this thunderous and act like it's the thunderous. So that's an interesting looking team. Now I want to look at... Walkingle. And then... Walking Gold, Turtle, uh, Umbreon. Ensign. I like the Nietzsche. The Nietzsche. Uh -huh, dude, we're freaking philosophizing. Um, I like the Nietzsche that Ensign was fitting on the team. But... Could have Scrafty, Mingy. Could have Scrafty. I mean, technically, the only reason that I don't want Ensign is that I don't want to double up on fire. Uh, we also don't really need Ground Terra. If we have, um... Giraffe. So that's, that is something to think about, too. Kroger Pond... Does Krogerpon work on this team? Eh, I mean, it's not like the worst, but I think what I was thinking right was that I wanted fast options. So like, um, Flutter, right? Like, so we can have Fluter, and then we can just leave uh, the Flubus in as a placeholder again. So we have... Uh, Suicune the Horns version, Fluttermane, Torkoal, Big Ol' Giraffe, uh, Umbreon, and then we could have a Chlorophyll user, but I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, like, right? Yeah, I don't know. I, I am going to just start playing in a second, but like... I guess I want to just think about this for like one more moment. What would I actually put in that slot if I wanted to be serious? Right? Because like we're definitely just throwing things together at this point. And not only that, we've made, like, a bunch of Trick Room teams. We have Umbreon. We have this. We have this. That means we need one more thing that's good in Trick Room, my gang. Um, hmm. Okay. No, this is definitely not, this is definitely not this, this time. <laughs> we could go back, so got back, my game. But do we, nah. Hmm. Um... Moltres, no. I mean, you could always do something stupid like use Rhyperior, right? Um, Rhyperior is a funny guy. There is Venusaur, which is definitely a Pokemon that like everybody forgets exists.
you could have Venusaur, Walking Wake, Fluter, um, Tortle, Big Old Giraffe, and then Umbreon. I kind of actually like, instead of the Giraffe, having like this mostly because I think it pressures the opponent a little bit more if that makes sense like sure they they have to think twice about like okay like I can just bring fake out and like you know things like that but I like the fact that P2 is very offensive and defensive at the same time. Um, which, I mean, technically for a graph can be as well. You can do, you know, citrus berry, throat spray. You can do a lot of things with for a graph, but I kind of just feel like this could be interesting. So we've got this. And then we've got a really nice mixture of fast options and slow options as well. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to need to go for um getting the fire what's it called though okay so let's see Bring out the boy. We do actually have fire terror shards. That's the one thing I was concerned about. All right. All right, so we have fire terror shards for Venusaur, which is pretty big. So we're actually going to run Let's see. So we can run, yeah, I mean, I actually do think this sludge bomb is good. Like, so you run, probably not solar beam, honestly. And then we want to get like energy ball or something. So weather ball and energy ball.
was going to say, I'm pretty sure energy ball. What up, Felipe? Thank you for letting me know that you're here. And saying hi. I hope you're doing well. Alright, so yeah. We go grab Weather Ball. We grab Energy Ball. And then we're starting to get a little scary, right? So we got Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Batter, and Weather Ball on Venusaur. Um. I don't, yeah, I think that's not bad. What up, Philip? My guy, me and you faced on freaking Showdown yesterday, and I was like trying to talk to you, and you weren't saying anything. And I was like, I was like, my guy, my guy. Like. <laughs> yeah. We have fun. Um. But, okay, I am noticing that I just built, like, a strictly special team, which is not good. So, first off, this is also the wrong walking wake. I do actually like the fact that I have a water walking wake, and, uh... Ooh, that's, like, a not good spread. <laughs> uh... He said, I am lay tired. I cannot lay tight on the showdown. It's all good, my game. Don't forget to say my game again. Um, where's my other walking wake? I know I have it. It's also called Suicune Hans. They're both Suicune the Hans version. But, you know, one's just a little more of a Hans than the other. Like. I'm going crazy here. I'm going crazy. I've already looked at it five times and I didn't see it. You guys saw it. I know somebody in the chat saw the other walking way. Okay? So don't freaking gas. <laughs> don't freaking gaslight me here, my game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> freaking right there. Take, take me to the freaking baseball game again. <laughs> what up, Chasm? Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. Much appreciate you. We were we were having trouble finding our walking wake for a second. Okay, so we got Suicune, the horns version, um, Venusaur. Flutter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They saw, they saw, they saw. <laughs> I do, I do still have this, the delay on. <laughs> uh. Okay. So in that case, yeah, we would just need to go get the items. Ooh, the man's got a story. Man's with the plans, as we like to say. Hmm. 
So life orb specs. I could honestly find like my focus sash flutter. But I also don't really, like, it's like, I don't like Specs Walking Wake. I just feel like it needs the, the, well, does it need the damage? I mean, does it? At least we, like, okay, so the way that I'm looking at it is at least we have the special attack boost from Torkoal, right? So... If we were... to just be itching for something like a... something like a little citrus berry. Something like a little Magamagay. Just didn't even wait time, she decided to call it early. His sand closed. <laughs> hey man, you gotta have a backup plan. I respect. You're like, hey girl, we just go get some freaking. We just go get some, uh. You know, little microwave food. Have us a little party. bought like 50 or that's hard that's hard okay 50 free rotisserie chickens my gay i mean obviously you didn't get all 50 of them but like you know we take those Club the wait time. Uh, had she stayed with me, could have got fed and free chicken. Yeah, it's fucking up my game. Like, messing up. <laughs> These chicks don't know how good they have, <laughs> or how good they could have had it. Alright, what am I looking for? Sorry, um. I'm looking for my other flutter mains. So we have this one, and then we have this one. This is my max speed grass terror one. Taking part in the new global challenge, I will be my guy. I definitely will. Hmm. So, okay, and, and, okay, so no, I, I can do specs on this team. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it all figured out. We be chillin', we just be big chillin', right? <sighs> I miss the city. I, the city's a good time, man. Civilization. Alright, so let's just kind of take a look at where we're at, because I know I started moving things around, and so our items will not match what we want them to be. Um, like this.
So here. Life orb, blah, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so we have that, and then also, if we want to test this team out, this team is ready, right? Because specs, this life orb, um, oh. But then this version of the team is specs. Okay, it's fine, because I already rented it out, right? So I can just like, I can just rent my own team. Don't miss the gas prices. Yeah, yeah. Everything has its pluses and minus. I mean, I ultimately, I just miss civilization, you know? I miss being in the happening. JTNS. O W. Hey, look, it's our homies team. Okay, so we're going to be trying this. And then I also want to try this technically. Um, Scrafty made the cameo, McGee. Y five L P O C. This team I technically do have ready, so I don't need to fret about that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll use the Scrafty team for you, Chasm. So yeah, like I said, this team is ready. If we want to use this team, we got it. Um, um, sand and all that. And then... So this is a version... Of, this is, this is like the old Umbreon team. This used to be an Umbreon team, and then I was like, well, what if Scrafty, though? Right? Um, ooh. Okay, so the main problem here is that I actually took... I took off Meteor Mash. Hmm. So let's think. We can lead Flutter. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we lead Flutter. Flutter. Ogre Pond with Scraft Tizzle. And I actually don't have like an amazing matchup for this. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Felipe. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not an Umbreon team anymore. <laughs> He does start in Sin Flutter. Interesting.
Huh. Um. I mean, this is just too obvious is the problem, right? Because, like... Oh, wait. No, and I wasn't supposed to Terra. God dang it. I forgot that I didn't actually want to Terra. It's fine. The The reason why this is okay is because they're not setting Trick Room. Um... Yeah. They go for Icy Wind. We go for damage. I, 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 I would have liked a little more damage. Um, Interesting. Okay, this is pretty big. Yeah. I did not expect them to switch like that. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Um... I think I'm okay with sacking. So like the way that I'm looking at this is if I get this KO, I don't know if they can stop us after that, right? Oh, that's kind of bad, actually. Um, I might have just threw. All right, hold on. This should KO. Double KO. Okay, we are freaking chilling. That's so big. Bring in Scrafty. Bring in Skr Skr. So we do have to do this. And then I think my best play is always this. Yeah. 
That's fine. Alright, nice. And then... Yeah, they tried, my guy. They really tried. And then we just click Thunderbolt and Drain Punch, and that should just be GG's, right? Like, because cause technically they could try to, like, make, like, a sneaky play. Um, I'm actually gonna just Drain Punch them, or I mean, dr uh, Dragon Pulse, just in case for some reason. And then Drain Punch. But yeah. We, we got this one. Nice. That was solid damage, too. Let's see if this KOs. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Scrafty! 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 They hear him chanting from the bleachers, my guy. You freaking hear him. Do you hear them? Like, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> nice. It lives the life or blood moon. It wasn't normal Terra, you gotta give it that. But <laughs> yeah, that was some big energy. That was the big energy for sure. Ooh, okay. Um, um, I don't have amazing answers to this. What I do have is Metagross. But it all depends on what kind of... What kind of Urshifu they have, right? So I'm thinking... This is actually a pretty... Uh, this is probably my best lead with this and this. Like, is that okay to like literally just not even bring Flutter? I feel like it's kind of my best thing to do here. If anything, we should be bringing Flutter though. That's true. Yeah, if I was an assault that Scrafty, we could have lived a, a normal Terra Blood Moon. Alright. So I don't have a good plan for this. We start gouging fire and bolt. So, unfortunately, my original plan was actually pretty good. Yeah, if I had started Metagross, we'd be kind of chilling here. Um, who be blazing day bulwark? I, I do want to recognize that it's not called Blazing Bulwark, by the way. It's called Burning Bulwark, but, like, we just out here blazing the Bulwark. Like, I'm just saying. So they should fake out Raging Bolt. They don't. Okay.
they take the belt. They knock off my clear amulet. That's a little rude, Mingy. Let's go for breaking swipe. Let's click. It seems fun, you know? This ain't no foo foo lame team. <laughs> oh, that kind of sucks. I could have just clicked Hal, I guess, because they're gonna um, parting shot me. Yeah. I'm assuming they might have Flutter in the back, but I also forget if Flutter's even on their team, so... Yeah, Golden Go, that makes sense. They're just the boys! They're freaking homies, my gang! wearing the pants in this in this relationship that's what you gotta ask yourself so they do bring in sin back out totally expected um they protect goldango also expected we go for how again also expected So I'm thinking... Because technically, technically we're only at like minus, technically we're at minus one, right? So, hmm. They do fake out Scrafty. I'm either at neutral or minus one, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I have an idea, I just don't love it. Yeah, uh, that did a lot. We should probably lose. Let's see what they click here. They go for farting shot. Yeah, 
Okay. Um. Technically, I just threw, right? Yeah, so I should have clicked, um, I should have clicked Psychic Fangs, and I should lose because of that. Yeah, that was just a really bad play, unfortunately. Um, that sh that'll that'll lose us the game. So, GGS. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, cause like I'll make the play I have to make. Let's be honest, but yeah, like they clicked follow me. So, if I had clicked Psychic Fangs, I'm almost positive that there's a really good chance it would have KO'd. And then... Yeah. And then, yeah, we can't even get that. That sucks. Um... All right, so let's think. We didn't get through a single Pokemon. Um, I just didn't, so like, I pretty much made bad plays starting on turn one, right? Like, we didn't lead correctly. Um, we made some mispredictions. We let them get away with setting up. Um, so there was a lot that went wrong in this game. That's fine. The real question is, did the team have the stuff to deal with it otherwise, right? And I actually did start getting very set up in this game. We just started setting up the wrong thing, kind of. Uh, we went for... We went for offense when we should have clicked Howl one more time. We... Yeah, so we had a couple plays, right? Let me look at the team again really quick. Flutter and ogre so i do think that was winnable um i think our opponent played incredibly well positioning and made it very difficult for us um i'm gonna uh take a quick break i'll be right back my guy
so something to think about is that um <coughs> sorry <coughs> one of the real reasons that we lost that was that our opponent had fairy terra gold dango right and then we ended up in a bad position versus it so like Metagross was in the position to counter their Goldango. We just didn't get in the right positioning because they had Protect plus Ogre Bond, right? And so, um, basically what I needed to do, well, uh, well what I could do is I could actually give Poison Jab to, uh, Scrafty instead of Protect, but I kind of think Protect's important, so. <clears throat> GG's. I think they played well. Jor Knight. Uh-oh. Um, hiccups. That's what I think. Um, hmm. I'm like sitting here looking at it as if I can't just literally do that, right? And then lead this, or I mean, bring this. I technically think leading it would be good compared to this. Uh, I actually feel kind of good about this. So, like, the main consideration here is that they might have stored power. They have Aqua Jet to activate their weakness policy. And then, like, click Expanding Force and stuff. They do have Urshifu. We have Raging Bolt. So... More of a what's a goon to a goblin, if you ask me. Um... I'm gonna click... Uh, that. Uh. Let's click Thunderbolt. Let's click. So, I'm expecting them to close combat Scrafty here, which is why I clicked Thunderbolt, however they might click U-turn. Yep. Let's expect Scarf here, yep, okay. So that play itself gives us a huge leg up in this game. They bring out Armor Argus, I get that. Um, I'm going to... I do need to be careful here because their team screams weakness policy, right? Like, their team literally screams I have a weakness policy. So...
I hate this play. Because you know they're just going to go like Psychic Terra. Okay. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> okay, so... That's pretty much the first step to losing. Unfortunately. Um... They're gonna go for it again. Live. Okay, so we knock out Scrafty, or I mean we knock out Indeedy. Um, I think what I can do here is count Psychic Train. Okay, so... In my opinion, there's no reason not to make this play. Like... I do know this could be bad, though. Like I said, this is getting bad. Um... But now... We can go for... Hmm. I mean, what really is my best play? Like, I kind of just have to do this. Yeah, I mean, and the problem is that they should have stored power too, right? But, um... As long as I live this, we have a chance, and I think we should. Oh, dude, are you serious? That sucks. Um... I had a chance to double spiky shield there. But then they would have just endured again. See, that's the annoying thing, right? 
Um, let's just click Icy Wind. Bro, come on. No. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Brother, oh my god, I threw that so hard. Oh my god. That hurts my freaking soul. Man, like, I literally should have just clicked Dazzling Gleam. Um. Whatever. I feel like we, like, definitely had ways to win. So you can't really, like, fault the team for that. I think, like, that was an incredibly close game. We do have no speed control, though, which is pretty important to be aware of. Yeah. It happens. You know, one day I hope to make the world championships. One day. Um... Yeah, no, that was the BS. The Icy Wind double missing was them, like, really being like, my guy, you actually just had a better play, and you didn't make it. <laughs> they do start Landorus. We start gouging fire in the Metagross. Exactly, dude. That's it was that's just nuts. I'm not playing this correctly either. I should have just, um, because they're going to earth power the Metagross, right? Well, actually, no, they might. Ooh. Okay. That kind of sucks. All right, um... Okay. 
more or less getting somewhere. But this stomping's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, those, those, those accuracies hurt. <laughs> Um... You would too if you were Bonnie New Megane, right? Um... Oh, true, 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 true. You would too if you were Bonnie New, my gay. But you know what? Bonnie New does not appreciate is a four times super effective psychic. <laughs> uh, nice to see you, Philip. Thank you for tuning in. All right, so we bring out Fluvistermine. Nice, yeah, thank you guys. And then we click Dazzling Gleam. And we click Breaking Swipe again until the cows come home. Because we should live a Wicked Blow unless they're banded. Did I have Terra left? Can someone explain that to me? Do I have Terra left? <laughs> like, did I actually just throw? Um, okay. So... So, I do believe that we'll still win this, um... Cause we need three more. They actually miss. Why would you even, like... That play doesn't even work. <sighs> that did so much. Bro, they could have won. Like, they threw hard. I don't know if it, it kind of seems like two stompings might have done it like two stompings and an e-speed so yeah I don't know about that uh I technically did have a better play by taking out the Entei so I should have doubled up the Entei like I was originally or I mean um I should have ID snuggled the Entei like I was thinking about but Either way, you know, we got two dubs. 
Not bad. Not bad. Um. Okay. Oh, this team is the sauce. Wow. Funny thing is that, like, we literally almost just built this same team, except it was a little different. So we start torn, we start. Torn Flutter. We could start Torn this. Um, I have a really awkward matchup into Walking Wake is how it feels. Interesting. Um, potentially, I might have wanted to just probably honestly just lead like Torn Chiyu, but they do start that, which I kind of expected. So let's just click Tailwind. Let's just. Like, they should be going for Flamethrower here. Like, Fire Terra Flamethrower. Yeah. They'll set Light Screen. It is impressive. So technically I probably should have clicked protect. We live that pretty well though. Um quickly Quinn.
Leak wind again. Technically, I had a much better play, which was just switching to Flutter. Actually, I probably should have. I should have just Thunderbolted. That was a good play. Yeah, I should have just thunderbolted. You go for spirit break. Hmm. So let's think. At this point, we can bring Flut back out. We click, we put again, clean blast. I did misplay there pretty bad though. Ugh. Um, okay, so we need to hit our bleak wind. We have a chance. Not an amazing one. Yeah, I mean, if we had just thunderbolted them, like I kind of knew I was supposed to, uh, this would be a lot different. So they'll bring their flot out. They should bring Torkoal out. Venu. Okay. Um. gonna be interesting. So we got that. Their light screen wears off. We have that. Bring out our flutter. That should win us the game. No guarantees though. You live, double live. Alright, so as long as they can't wait my tailwind out, we win, right? Yeah, so they need, I mean, like, they have a play, right? Like, they have one play they can make. 
but GG. Nice. Alright. So, we, we found our way through that, right? Nice. Not bad, not bad at all. So, I have been thinking that um, Ogre Pond Water would be better on the team than Rillaboom, but I don't know. It's kind of here or there if you ask me. So, either way, we were able to find a win. That was actually a pretty scary team, too. Like, that walking wake was not messing around. Dude, this team is scary. Like, this is like the standard scary team now. <laughs> okay, so we lead Torn. We lead Fingal. And, uh... I really don't hate these two. I feel pretty good about that. Um, this is actually like the specific matchup that Ogre Pond Water is better in, so that's something to think about. Um, all right, so I do think I'm leaving myself a little bit vulnerable by doing this, but I ultimately think that it's my best play. So we almost definitely should see Rillaboom Terra here. There's no way they should take a chance with me not having Ghost Terra, because like, you have Ghost Terra, right? Like, if you're me, you have Ghost Terra. And they get that, so, smart play. Yeah, so, they will both be resisting this, but I'm expecting at least a three shot, so, this is not a perfect scenario, but it's not terrible. Mm, that's like a four shot. And they actually just called my play like perfectly, so we're probably gonna lose this. <laughs> like they literally called that. Uh, please no. Calm Mind Raging Bolt is scary. And I knew I had the chance to Dark Pulse them, too. Yeah, 
I'm just not playing well. Um, cause like they literally gave me a chance to headlong rush them there. So what we basically have to do is we bring out Flutter. We go for this. And we go for it. Um, this is like really not that good of a play. I definitely should be facading. Like, let's be honest, this person's already beat me. Like, it's just, you know, we're trying. My guy, if you take any longer, I'm gonna think you're watching the stream. So, like, maybe stop taking. I definitely should have clicked um, facade though. So, because now we're at minus two, and that's like pretty bad. Good for parting shot. The way that I win this is terrain running out, basically. So Rillaboom comes back out. Ogre Pond Water Kinda scary. Let's see if I can make a good play here and win the game. Cause it'd be funny. GG's. Um, so we do live, which is pretty big. Tell Peter's out, Grass Terror doesn't go away. Or I mean Grass Train doesn't go away, which means we probably lose. Okay, so... I did actually have the chance to double protect that last turn. I mean, if you're my opponent, you have like very clear ways to win this, right? So it's not really like a, it's not necessarily a contest, you know, but. Um, actually, hold on. No, that's unfortunate. If there was a way for me to KO two things this turn, we would be able to win, right? So, like, theoretically... 
theoretically Moonblast crit plus Headlong Rush wins, right? No! They made the bad play that I was afraid they were gonna make! I'm so bad. They literally made the one play that I was, like, able to counter, kind of. Which is, like, I could have just clicked Icy Wind Facade. Um. But then, how do you win after that, right? So, GG's. GG's. That person definitely like outplayed us kind of. Especially in the beginning. So let's see. I'm not sure what I would have done to play around that. I mean, I did I definitely had plays. Okay. <laughs> Again, um technically Ogre Pond water is good here. So something to think about. A lot of my team is bad versus Champau. Like Champau Ogre Pond specifically. I don't feel super solid about this one as well. So we shall see. I do want to kind of try one with Ogre Pond water. They do start a pretty decent lead for me. a risky play here um the so mainly the way that i'm thinking about this is i set sunny day turn one i do massive damage if they don't call that i'm clicking ghost terra we have a free chance to do massive damage if they do call that i'm clicking ghost terra there's actually a chance that i still live it I don't know if I will, but there is a chance. So. Hmm. 
that's kind of scary. What you gonna do when they cheat you, my game? I mean, you could just, you know, bring out Champow, right? Like, they have Champow, right? Pretty sure we completely forgot they have Champow. But maybe they don't. I mean, if they don't bring out Champow next, they don't have it, put it that way. If they bring out Ursh, um, the good one. The one that's good for us to see. Let's click Tailwind. We will do over 70% to their health. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like in the movies. <laughs> Freaking God, he made it. Yeah, so that's Chi for you. I mean, not much more to say about that. Yeah, the, I was like, there's there's literally no way you have Chen Pao in the back if this is the way you're playing, so GG's. Alright, I respect that. Because technically that can get them out of this if I miss... Like, too bad. We miss one. At least we hit Urshifu, so. That allows us to continue controlling the board. So, yeah. Raging Bolt. I mean, how do you really beat Raging Bolt if you're the opponent? Um... The nice thing for them is that they haven't terrored yet, technically, right? But. Or have they? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> yeah, they terrored. They terrored. And they also got wrecked. Okay, okay. So, before I call it for the night, I want to try this team with Ogre Pond Water. And then, in this case, I've been discussing doing Woodhammer because it's actually more important to do damage if I'm going to be using Sunny Day. So, there's that. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So definitely a torn lead. Torn lead. You could lead flutter. Torn flutter's not terrible. Um Torn Flutter. The Moon Bear can take swift KOs, kinda. Torn Flutter. I feel like Raging Bolt is strong. Ish. I have so many options. Like, I feel like this is my best. But what if I just brought Chiyu? And I was just like, oh, huh? Like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, what if I literally just clicked Heat Wave on their team? So... If anything, we leave out Ursaluna for Chiyu. Because I actually think... Um, Raging Bolt feels pretty good in this matchup. This do start Flutter Chi. That kind of sucks. I have the Tailwind. They go for Icy Wind, that's scary. And Snarl. I really would have liked if that KO'd. Um... I get a feeling that this will still work in my favor. So this will do like not as much as I might want, but it does do a good bit. They should actually live the... Uh... Okay. Yeah, that sucks. I'm expecting specs, so they should, yeah. Snarl again. Lower my special attack. And then... I think we have to bring out Raging Bolt. That's fine because I can click Snarl. This sucks. I'm gonna lose like because I tear it, right?
Yeah. So I kind of expected that. We go for Snarl, we bring out Ursaluna. We're gonna lose because we Terra though. Or like, because we don't have Terra anymore. Like, it's not that we're losing because we Terra, it's because we're, we're losing because we didn't have Terra anymore. Um, let's click Snarl. That play was, like, really bad. Okay. At least we get the Dragon Balls. Like, and they, they had to protect there too, so like, that play only makes sense if you protect. It always feels like Grassy Train goes for like way longer than it should. Let's... Going for Snarl probably loses me the game, which sucks a lot. Um... No. Oh man, why? Like they didn't even play their way out of it. I just had one win con and I didn't make it. That sucks, because I definitely had a way to win that. I mean, but you should never, like, you shouldn't feel like your team is making you win by that close of a margin, though, right? Like, because that was an incredibly close margin. Jeez. And then... That should work. Let's 
so we'll see. Um, Ogre Pond does help in this matchup. Yeah, because they're going to go for that. So we basically just have to click... Follow me here. That was rude. A little crit mini. So I don't expect them to get a KO here with... Come on. At least we do that. Yeah, so like I said, no KO. Then they bring out Comfy. No, they bring out all Nine Tails. We go for Ghost Terra Heatwave. I need such a bunk. We got this one. Yeah, that one heat wave miss though might lose us the game, unfortunately. So we go for heat wave. They tank it very well. We go for Ivy Sudgel. Hopefully, if we're lucky, they body press the Chiyu. Good. Nice. So that gives us another turn to... I don't know, deal with Comfy, because that's Comfy. So, yeah. Um, out comes Heat Wave. Out comes... A possible Ivy Seldral Crit. Crits. Nah, I should have. My guy. All right. Oh wait, no, I didn't make the right play. It's fine. Me watching all my hopes and dreams crumble away. Um... Let's think. Tailwind. Maybe such one. Yeah, I mean, we we definitely should have just gone for the uh, heat wave last turn, so. Very good chance that we will lose. Um, let's think. So Dragon Pulse comes out.
actually just made like a really dumb play, I feel like. So my play might have lost me the game. Let's see if they have flash cannon or what do they have? Yeah, all right. So they have flash cannon. I would say it's worth risking it on missing, but, or I mean on them, you know. Yeah, so they go for body press. That makes sense. Um, I actually think that we might lose this because of our life orb. Then again, it is Flash Cannon from Duraludon, or Archaldon, so. Technically, as long as we hit another Bleak Wind. But let's see. Yeah, so ex exactly. It's like you literally, are, it's an Archaladon. Like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> so, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Uh. Oh, man. GG's. So, I do think Ogre Pond makes a difference on the team, right? Like, to me, Ogre Pond feels like the right option over, um, over Rillaboom. So, I'm gonna do that. And we will keep testing the team. It is a little bit here or there. Like, you know, you could use this. You could use that. But... This is the team for now. I like it. Um... So, the main thing about this team is that with Ogre Pond over Rillaboom, we have a better matchup into Incineroar and Landorus, which, if they are positioned well, can give this team a lot of trouble. So, sure, you can just click like Tailwind, Heatwave, things like that, right? But it doesn't guarantee you anything. So like, if anything, I might like to have Ghost Terra or Saluna still, and then, um, so let's see, yeah, Ghost Terra or Saluna gets her own fake out. But besides that, I mean, we have Protect, so like, Right, okay, so hold on.
So with this version, we actually want Earthquake again. So now that we don't have Rillaboom, it adds to the synergy of the team a little bit because we're more comfortable running Earthquake, right? And so the potential times where you can click Earthquake with this team is, you know, Torn Ursaluna. You have Protect on Flutter. You have Spiky Shield on Ogre Pond, which technically resists it anyways. You can click... Uh, grass terra raging bolt and you can resist the earthquake so yeah this this version is actually pretty decent and like if anything the one thing to think about is just like ghost terror or saloon is kind of good sometimes but like besides that uh i i think this version definitely does what you need it to and like sometimes it would be nice to replace like taunt with protect but other than that i think the team you know it does what it needs to uh if anything you could take the life orb off for specs flutter but like i don't know i i think this is fine right so um i hope you guys enjoyed the stream it has been a good one y'all are my real ones and uh yeah, you know, have a good one. Again, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And yeah, uh, have, uh, if I didn't say it already, right? Like. <laughs>